All right, everyone, welcome to N9TAX Labs. This is Radio Joe here with you. A uh, quick video here. We're going to show you how to use these ladder makers that we're selling at the site. So if you got some of these and uh, you want to take a look at how they work, let's see what's in the bag here. So let's dump these out. So a bag of these is going to get you, a, at the 18 gauge ones anyway, is going to get you 25 pieces. And um, that's going to allow you to make, well, I don't know, between maybe 25 and 50, even 60 feet of, uh, of ladder line, depending on how far you want to space these on the wire. It's kind of up to you, depending on wind and, you know, other factors in your area. Um, I would suggest going about 18 inches. Seems a pretty good spacing for them. Um, so these things are pretty simple. Basically, it's a little spreader. Each side has like a little C on it that is designed to accept the, um, the 18 gauge ones here are designed to accept uh, the 18 gauge poly stealth wire. We also make these for uh, 14 and 12 gauge THHN. What sets these apart from some of the other spacers on the market today is these are computed to be the correct length for the wire gauge. And you're going to, you know, probably get an actual 600 ohm ladder line out of this as opposed to, you know, a ladder line spacer like this that's not um, specifically set lengthwise to the gauge because they do they do change quite a bit between um, you know sizes I can show you one that's made for uh, 14 gauge wires it's, it's quite a bit bigger all right so here's one for 14 gauge wire you can see it's it's quite a bit larger than the one for 18 gauge wire uh, these were all done with uh, accepted formula that's made for de determining the uh, impedance of the ladder line uh, based on the wire diameter. So those formulas can be found online. You can do the math yourself to see that these are correct. And, you know, these are also a lot beefier for the heavier wire. So it's going to make a more rigid ladder line. So this is depends on your application, which one of these you're going to want. The 12 gauge ones get extremely large. So unless you're making a really high power system, uh, you, you probably don't need anything that large unless you've got a lot of 12 gauge wire laying around. In fact, we don't even stock the 12 gauge ones. We will build them um, per order. So. so let's take a look at how these work. So we'll set that aside for now. We're going to focus on these 18 gauge ones. Um, in every kit, you will receive this insert tool. I suggest you definitely want to use this um, because it keeps you from breaking the tabs on the ends when you're inserting the wire. If you try and use something too wide, I mean, these are just plastic. They're pretty strong, but if uh, if you do force something too wide in there, you can spread the ends more than you want to. So, so this is uh, this is the 18 gauge poly stealth wire here, and it, it's it's really simple to use. You're going to just want to lay that wire into that end, and then you could take your tool here and it's designed to fit right in there and it will press that thing right in there for you um, no problem it holds it doesn't want to slide on the wire I mean you, you can slide it if you force it um, so it's not too tight that it's going to pinch anything or you know whatnot it's we've studied quite a bit on the dimensions of all of this to make these just right so, um, so take your other end if you're building your uh, your wire here Put your other side in. Give it a little push. It pops right in there, no problem. And and then work your way down the ladder. Um, you know, you could probably put together a hundred feet of this stuff in about five minutes. So it's really pretty quick. Obviously, you're not going to space them this close together, but for for the demonstration, you know, we can we can show you how quickly these things go together. Here, I'll do one more just to just to demonstrate here. You know, really quickly. Push these guys in there and, and boom, that's it. We're making ladder line. Thanks for watching the video. I hope this was informative on how these uh, little ladder makers work. Um, pretty simple little devices, um, inexpensive. You'll, you'll be able to make some ladder lines. So, again, thanks for watching.